Good morning, Grand Canyon. This is Mrs. Petri, and I am here to do our announcements this week. Today is Monday, March 15th, and this week we are going to be talking about famous women in history because the month of March is all about Women's History Month. Today we are going to learn more about Ruby Bridges. And if you remember correctly, Miss Fontenot talked about Ruby Bridges a few weeks ago. So today we're going to learn a little bit more about her. Here we go. The year was 1960, and some white people didn't treat black people as equal. In some parts of the U.S., black people were kept separate from whites and viewed as less. They couldn't sit with whites on a bus or drink from the same fountains. They said, why us? It wasn't fair. If there was a school with white kids, then black kids couldn't go there. White people had set up this separation, and it was called segregation. It affected many, truly, including a girl from New Orleans named Ruby. Ruby Bridges was six years old when she did something brave and bold. Ruby lived by William France Elementary School. It was for white kids only. What would Ruby do? Now, the Supreme Court had already ruled that segregation was bad and should be given the book. The Supreme Court had tried to change it. They said all schools have to be integrated. That means kids of every single color were allowed to go to school with each other. But that wasn't the end of segregation. Some schools still didn't allow integration. See, William France gave a hard test to black kids, and they couldn't attend if they didn't pass it. But when we passed it, we gave the school no choice. The U.S. government used its voice and said Ruby had the right to go. She was only six, and she became a hero. She was the first black child to attend an all-white elementary school without a friend. Oh, Ruby, when will all this be over? When will everyone be treated the same? Outside the school, they yelled mean things at Ruby Bridges. Most people would have given up, but Ruby did it. The U.S. president sent guards to keep her safe from the crowd that was filled with hate. She had a brave, confident look on her face as she entered the school that day. When she got to class, guess what she found? All the white parents had pulled their kids out. They didn't want their kids in class with Ruby just because she was black. She was nice, but they saw her as an enemy. So it was only Ruby and Mrs. Henry, her teacher, who was very kind. It was just the two of them for a long time. She taught Ruby every subject for months. Slowly, white kids came back, not all at once. After going through the first grade, Ruby made it to the second grade, and it was integrated. Her class that year had black and white, all because Ruby never gave up her rights. She had courage and determination to help overcome segregation. Today, some are still not treated equal, and Ruby continues to fight for those people. All it takes is compassion for others, learn to treat people like your sisters and brothers. Oh, Ruby, when will all this be over? When will everyone be treated the same? Oh, Ruby, bridges change the course of history. I never knew a little girl could be so. All right, 
Ruby Bridges is a pretty amazing woman, right? Or pretty amazing girl. So it was the year 1960 that six-year-old Ruby Bridges changed history by becoming the first black child to desegregate an all-white elementary school by herself. This biographical video shows how Ruby overcame so many obstacles to integrate that school, right? She showed lots of courage and a face of determination. And one word that I would use to describe her is brave. Ruby Bridges is so brave. All right, let's go ahead. And tomorrow we're going to talk about somebody else. But for now, let's go ahead and stand, put our hand over our heart, and say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, thank you and have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.